Hello, we are live. Today is April 20th, 2017. Mm -hmm. And uh, I welcome Anya, April, and Marianne. Thank you for joining. Remind me in about 40 minutes to start guided meditation, meditation guiding. And now I will be in Yogananda. Thank you for joining. Pleasure to have you. And hello, one viewer. <laughs> Marianne, do you want to mute yourself if you like? And then you can unmute when you speak. <clears throat> Does it sound good so far? Ah, yeah, muted. You, you can't really speak, but you can unmute yourself and tell me if the sound is good. I think it's okay. Allah sounds good to me. Thank you, wonderful. Yeah, thank sounds you. good to me. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> ah, hello today i would like to start with the idea of fear <laughs> ah, any of us all of us are scared of being scared are uh, fearful of being in fear are afraid of being afraid but that's all right it is okay to be afraid to be afraid <laughs> it's okay to be afraid the first step and any problem is acceptance. Accept the fear. Accept it and forgive yourself for being afraid. It is part of <laughs> it's part of the situation it is part of having a body it is part of having a life fear is good for you as long as you are not afraid <laughs> as long as it is not you as long as you remain in the space of peace 
as long as you remain in the space of love as long as you are in love it's okay to have fear because fear is just another side of love fear is caring fear is an attachment to life fear is an emotion which helps you to survive <laughs> so be appreciative of the fear be appreciative of that vibration and allow it let it take let it take its place forgive it bringing it with gratitude it's okay to be afraid it is part of the system of values it is part of system of judgments it's okay but daily recalibrate your judgments please mute yourself daily recalibrate your judgments and put the fear in a proper place so it serves your love it enhances your love it enhances your life carol if you can press the mute button Allah ya Now you can feel the fear everywhere because the change is coming and the people are afraid the animals are afraid the planet is afraid there is a sense of coming change and people sense possible catastrophes possible destruction it's okay it's okay the humanity will survive you will survive <laughs> because you are an eternal soul you may leave the body but you will survive as a soul but it's not your worry to to worry <laughs> focus yourself on what you can do as long as you have the body focus on yourself on being in a state of peace and love of acceptance and caring and feel the guidance you're being guided and accept whatever happens with gratitude it is not the final destruction it is just a stage it is just a stage it is just a stage now everybody's scared but when it happens there'll be nothing more to fear it <laughs> will be already there so you are scared not of things coming but you are scared of things unknown of things uncertain it's part of this forgetfulness part of this illusion of life of this dream of life be grateful mm. yes please Marianne did you want to say something am I unmuted yes you're good okay um, Yogananda nice hey. to talk to you nice to talk to you thank you thank you thank you namaste namaste um i have been practicing kriya um your method for a long time 
And I recently been told that I, I knew you in the past and I was wondering what uh, was that, what was more information on the past when I knew you in another realm? Just a minute. What do you feel? What do you feel? What is your sensation? Mm, right now? Anytime. What is your sensation? What do you feel? Oh, Was it I a feel... man or a woman? Oh, back then? Yes, back then. Mm. Uh, I was probably a woman, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. Let's take it slow. Let's take it slow. Which continent was that? Was it India or Europe or America? Mm. I feel it was probably in India. <laughs> I say there was love, there was attraction, there was attraction, there was friendship, and there was unity of hearts, <laughs> but not much action. <laughs> it was a sense of unity. That's where we stop for today. But keep working on this. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anything else? Hmm. Not right now, no. Thank you. I will continue. The fear is in many hearts, and this fear is desperation. People don't see the way forward. People I'm afraid that the humanity is doomed because everything has been tried so far. There was that social system, that social system, this religion, that religion, this technology, this technology, no technology, and nothing worked so far. It always was a failure. And that brings fear to everyone because they're afraid there is no way out. Don't buy this fear. Don't go with this fear. You know the way out. And the way out is the way up. The way out is the elevation, uplifting, evolution, Yes, the old humanity is doomed, but the new humanity is being born right now. The new species is being born right now. The telepathy, telepathy is being developed right now. You are the new humans. You are. You are. It takes the courage, it takes the leap of faith, and it takes research and thinking, research and self-realization, <laughs> that you are the new humans. You just realize it. You awaken to the idea that you are. And it becomes self-evident. It is self-obvious. You are. Psychic abilities, unity of hearts 
is the answer. Love is the answer. It is. Beauty is the answer. It is. So come together. Come together. Hold your hands. Come together. Reunite. Awaken to unity. You will uplift the vibration. You will awaken their new codes in your body, new codes in your neural system, new codes in your DNA. Just through love and through peace in your heart, inner peace. That's simple. Thank you. That's simple, yes. I invite questions and comments. This is Carol. Hey, Carol. How are you doing, Master? <laughs> Groogey. <laughs> um, I am doing fine, Master. <laughs> I was wondering if you had any messages for me. Yes, what's your worry of today? Where? What are you working on today? I'm working on whether to stick with traditional SRF teachings or mm -hmm. go galactic, kind of do them both, and want to make sure I'm not getting confused. What's the difference? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? It's good. <laughs> All right. We are everyone. We are anywhere. It's all one. You are galactics. You are the spirit. It's the flavors. It's. Have you been in Ch Ch modern Chinese restaurant? They give you the same thing, just repackaged. They want fried rice or white rice, right? It's the same thing. It's rice. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what's the worry? Where, what's your fear? What is your fear of today? Getting a spread too thin. Oh, of course, yes. Focus. Yes. And the answer? Uh, I still want to do galactic and, <laughs> and your teachings. Oh. The answer is both. Okay. And the answer is breathing. Oscillation, vibration, right, left, right, left at your own pace. One leg goes the spirit, another leg goes material. One leg goes galactics, another leg goes traditional esoterics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look at the traditional esoterics, it's full of galactics. The, blue-skinned gods. Of course, they had copper in their blood. Of course, they were <laughs> uh, blue aliens, blue aliens, several different species, but of course, it was the same thing. There is no difference. Only now, in this stage of illusion, and this time of separation and the break of the old paradigm, not break, the down of the old paradigm, it's about to break, not broken yet. Only now it can be confusing, but just by uh, being there and there and there and there, like breathing, you cross the bridge, you cross the bridge. It's so thin. It's all the same. It's just different flavors. Yes. What is your birthday? My birthday? Yes. October 14th. 51, 1951. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, as the things fall apart, 
that is fire which helps a burning apart I didn't say it right there is fire that helps them falling apart destruct destroy disintegrate and you are that fire as the world as we know it comes to the end your energy will be strong your energy will be bringing up the phenomenon with bringing up the phenomenon of the phoenix the flame destruction and resurrection at the same time all at the same time phoenix is your symbol phoenix is the answer it's all at the same time transforming transforming how is your relationship with time with time yes i'm trying to forget about it i took the clock out of my room and i'm trying to be more in the now and not worry about what's going on mm -hmm. in the next mm -hmm. day or so it is liberation is it yes now as you become liberated of time mm. as you become liberated of the fear of time as you get rid of the fear of time next step what is the next step the present yeah. moment and the next step you know the answer <laughs> eternity I already, I already said it accept it accept and forgive it <laughs> it has place in the nature of things in this dream it has its own place in the nature of reality respect it and with respect become friend with it not being a slave not being pushed but accept it as a creative force you know this reality your reality <laughs> is called space-time continuum it's made of space and it's made of time it's one of the major elementals by rejecting time you reject this life the gift of this life and it is not to be rejected it is to be cherished as you know the life is <laughs> what is it um it is a creation a dream which is collectively created with love and gratitude and appreciation there is much beauty in this creation and this beauty is made of space time continuum so reject the time which was pushing you accept the time which you create you create it in your dream it is one of the tools which you use to manifest the beauty that's it Thank appreciate you. the time that you use to create the beauty to manifest the beauty time is an element of manifestation time is an element of manifestation I bless you to become a master a creator a friend of space and time <laughs> that's the message <laughs> any more questions from you or anyone it's up to you thinking should I get into channeling there's a lot of offers on learning how. Hmm, let me see. How do you feel about it? Mm, scared. <laughs> Here it goes. Sounds like a big commitment. Ah, you mean public channeling? <laughs> I see. Yes. You have a wonderful vibe, you have a wonderful strength. 
it's your choice it's up to you how to use it there is strength in your vibration channeling of course as a means of spiritual growth of course as a means of psychic work that's the main effort the main challenge the main assignment for light workers of earth the main assignment for the light workers of the earth mm. to develop your psychic abilities to channel higher energies to become the representations of divine will on earth be the friends of the creator be the partners of the creator be the hands of the creator and channeling is an essential component of this work it is work it is work it's joyful work loving work kind work caring work but it is a work and a commitment it is a playful work but it is a work so i bless a channeler within you as a means of transferring and manifesting the divine energy in this reality in this dream in this planet in this creation and the way of doing this is up to you it's your choice how much to take and then each form to to manifest it did you say october 14th yes the phoenix is the idea and the, this part is a part of the flame so when you see the flame that is where your place is in the vibrationally it's one of the components of your soul vibrationally to be not burning in a flame but to be a fire keeper to be a fire catalyst to make sure proper things are burned and proper things are saved that's a possible choice for you but it is the nature of your vibration to filter save some things help help some things to get reborn and help other things to get burned but you are not being burned burned you are the keeper you are the watcher of the fire Mm. that's that is it any more questions from anyone and you it's fun I, to have that yes thank you yes, i would like to ask I have, yes april uh, yes okay <laughs> uh, my daughter has had men sexually harass her and, and misuse her and she blames it on me and I was never there she never told me about it and I have the ability to change people's minds energetically so I have been working on her for years to get her to think logically and not believe that it is all my fault that what happened to her has a great deal more to do with her not talking about it not telling people and staying away from those men 
whoever they were. And I was wondering if there's more that I can do for her because she won't talk to me. I see. Mm. What is your birthday? April 21st. <laughs> 1946. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. And your birthday? I heard, I didn't hear you. And what is your daughter's birthday? She was born. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, she's 42, and uh, her birthday, I think, is in January. Uh, January oh. 20. Please? That's all right. That's all right. That's sufficient. I can. It's okay. That's sufficient. Thank you. I got, I got the idea. The twenty sixth, she was born. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, rebellious date. The desire of being independent. The desire to go her own way. You have been placed in this predicament even before both of you are born. It is in the life plan. It is a game of the life plan. Now, you still are dancing that dance. You still are learning that lesson. <laughs> and we still still have choices. There is an attachment from both of you. It is the attraction and her desire to be independent. <laughs> And as usual, their suggestion, we can only suggest, the suggestion is change yourself. And in this change, as you change, the outside world will change and the relationship will change. Shine with your inner colors, your inner child, your inner playfulness. The healing here comes from your child, from the beauty of your child, from your playfulness. <laughs> it's, uh, you tried what what you have tried before these approaches already have been done and the problem with this approach as you know is your desire to get out of the control your desire to be independent and learn your own lessons doing your own mistakes yet there is a relationship you can develop to new level and especially to the new level of trust. To get to that new level, you might want to become shinier, happier, less worried, more connected, more intuitively connected, with less desire to affect people, with less desire to protect, but with more desire to shine with invincible energy, with energy of invincibility with the energy of being in the right place, with energy being in the flow. That's the idea. The energy of child that is loved. And when you shine with that new energy, when you uncover your playful child, 
that energy will do the protection work that energy will resolve the attraction of mischief the mischief will not be attracted anymore and this energy has to be infectious <laughs> has to be infectious look inside it's there infectious energy of invincibility <laughs> do you see I do thank you mm -hmm. you suggested before when I spoke with you that I cough out that that I have within me that is not yeah that's fear that was a vortex there was a vortex of negative energy which was attracting more mischief and that was that that tragedy which was attracting more of the tragedy that was focus of protection focus of panic focus of negativity the black hole and now it's been healed so the idea if when you heal this negative vortex you can convert it to a crystal which will become energetic crystal which will become less magnetic it wouldn't ma magnetize it wouldn't attract more of the mischief it will hold the strength of your spiritual body it would be just another crystal which holds the strength of your spiritual body and when that happens things will turn around and there will be more sunshine more positivity so the intention is inner peace inner playfulness attraction of positive energy and healing inner healing of the trauma thank you what, what you have suggested to me I have done and it has made me feel a great deal better but I'm still coughing <laughs> <laughs> have fun coughing um, sometimes it goes for months but my sense that it will resolve soon my sense I know that I've it will before soon. a lot yes I, I've done it before don't and focus I, I on it just, just ignore okay. it ignore it and um, when you do cough enjoy it and send out that leftover of that negative energy just cough it out it's it's when it happens it's cough it out. But focus. <laughs> it's not all the time right so between the coffin focus on the positivity do positive okay. things and build the fire of positivity build that playfulness if you have candles focus on the candle light and safely burn candles and whatever you do just have a candle nearby and mirror that that idea of positive light just burn a candle light just mirror it within you burn the candle in your heart and make it grow so the main idea of fighting the darkness is by growing the light so grow the light instead grow the light around surround your past trauma with love and convert it into the strength that's it surround your past trauma with love and convert it into the strength that's all very well thank you thank i love you. you i love you too
Any more questions, comments? All right. We oh, I was going to, oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask if there was – well, you pretty much told me. So I guess I don't have any questions. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I meditation. Yes, Hello. thank you. That's right. Hello. Hello. Hello, Yoganda. It's nice to connect with you at this time. Yay. Pete, thank you for coming. You're very welcome to her. And I have a question for today for my hey. visit. Um, today I've been experiencing some uh, some meditations. So during my meditations, I've been experiencing some significant changes in myself, and some parts of me have awoken. And I was wondering if you could help me out with that, of uh, what to help identify. I know. Remind me, tell me your birthday. Okay, it's September What's your challenges? What are your challenges these days? What's your focus? My focus is on obtaining my goals. Can you be more specific? More of um, my challenges are being um, tolerance, patience, and um, and challenges are by drama and fear. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So here we go. The situation is that in your plan for this life, the challenge is that there is a veil of understanding, a veil preventing you from understanding clear at the moment the um, the situation so you you have your mind have been has has been veiled pretty strongly and but but you have the talents you have the strength you have the constructor talent the building talents in terms of energetic construction, building, creation, manifestation. You're pretty strong manifesting while not being able to see clearly. There is a certain veil which prevents you from clear vision of situation. So you are... The only way for you is to attract people who can help you see. You are... Again, by design... 
capable of attracting people and being friends well connected with groups of people medium-sized groups of people you are by design a people person so attract the people who would help you to see clearer and help them by offering your talents so you are making another turn of the spiral of the development so it was another turn of the spiral spiral of the development of your soul and now the stage is in attracting the new people and uh, not necessarily new in uh, just generally attracting people and uh, fostering the idea of networking and community i hope that helps it does it does very much so um my other last question with you is how to unblock or the veil within my sight through people as i said it's intentionally placed there so you can only see through through the eyes of others through the understanding of others your it's your incapacity is healed by presence of others in presence of others you can understand more you can grasp more so it is the only way for you is to connect to others and collectively form a what's that word there is no good word a crystal of energy a structure of energy energetic structure form an energetic structure which would unite your minds telepathically and psychically and together you will be able to perceive what is not possible for you for you alone only in group it's true for everybody but it's even more true for you I am I am Are there any urgent questions or can I start a uh, guided meditation? There are no more questions. Thank you so much for connecting to my energy and and thank you. Thank you for asking. Thank you for coming. Om maha maha Om so now we'll do about 20 minutes of guided meditation take it easy now is a good time if you can set yourself comfortable comfortably you can lay down if you can you can sit in your chair you can stand whatever is comfortable laying down is a good idea make yourself comfortable comfortable you just mute your microphones and relax <laughs> For every one of you, one of the tools for your relaxation, one of the tools for your unwinding is counterclockwise movement. You can make a pendulum and just, or you just move the hands or move your body in counterclockwise isolation don't overdo it do it lightly do it lightly do it lightly but the idea is to unwind and relax um, I, oh, 
Amhaya Homam. Keep breathing. Breathe consciously. Breathe deeper than usual at your own pace and breathe with your stomach. Help make your stomach help your breathing slowly, deeply. Don't overdo it at your own pace. Slowly keep breathing all during all the meditation. The breathing gives you. the natural connection to the spirit it is one of the most basic connections to the spirit um, 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 i wa i was asked to do to guide collective group meditations and today we will start with a simple one its only intention is to connect you to the spirit in a more basic way just to restore the connection to the spirit between your physical to the spirit your sp physical mind your spirit consciousness just to start restoring this connection if you happen to come across a fear if you happen during this meditation to come across a pain take it easy but if you have to disconnect and stop just disconnect and stop and it's easy just turn off the sound and disconnect but be appreciative of this finding don't reject it by fi by finding what bothers you you do yourself a service that is the point where you want to work on if there is a pain if there is a fear if there is a tragedy that is something to be healed when you're pure when you are healed when you are clear when you are at peace the meditation wouldn't bring so much it wouldn't bring any pain wouldn't bring out any tragedy because you will be clear but until you are in that clear state clear space going inside might find a pain so be grateful for this finding and heal it for now it should be very simple and easy we will go now um, um, um. do age regression we go down in time down backwards in time and backwards and then it will come back but now you become younger you become younger you become younger your focus of attention shifts in time easily easily to the past to reconnect with the spirit it is one of the doors one of the paths going to the past you become younger soon you will be a child hum, 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 hum. remember yourself being a child hum, 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 hum. Remember your old photographs of being a child. Allahumma, allahumma. We start with 10 years old, then 9, 8, and we go down, down into the past. Um, 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 um. Um, um, um. Focus on positive. There was a charge of happiness. There was a charge of love. There was a charge of perfection in every one of you. Seven years old, six years old, <laughs> five years old, 
for <laughs> Allah no man Allah O Mahayana Ayayana O Arama O Three years old. <laughs> beautiful child. Beautiful child. Ayana O Mahayana Two years old. Alara Oma Oma. Connect to that two years old. It's as real as you now. As real. It was all in Akashic Records. It's all in your blood. It's all in your DNA. The child is still beautiful, still exists, still healthy, still loves. And cries, Allah no one years old, one year old, right? One year old, Allah no half year old, you were a baby, Allah ma. Um, focus on that baby. Send it love. Unite with it. You are that baby. Um, um, uh, um, um. Your focus of attention is on that baby. Part of you is still that baby. All right. And now you come to the idea when you were born. Allah. Allah. You came to this body. You came to this light. You came to this dream that was a wonderful moment several minutes when your soul was transformed the dream started unraveling in a new pace it was a big shift in a relationship of time and matter all of that is your dream and that was key part of the dream your birth and then you go back, back in time, gestation. It was a happy time of being an embryo, of being a fetus in your mother's belly. Very happy, very happy, very protected. All right, another happy time. Your brain just formed a few weeks. Your age is off a few weeks when first, first structures of the brain were formed. First structures of the spine were formed in the belly, in the fetus. And that's where the soul was able to attach to the future body. Allahumma, Allahumma, going back in time, conception. <laughs> you were not physical yet at all. You were around your parents, waiting, helping helping your embryo to be formed, helping the conception. It was a magic, spiritual moment. And now shift back in time before that before conception you are pure soul between incarnations not manifested yet just planning your incarnation your soul between incarnations Allahumma, Allahumma. choosing your body <laughs> planning your life 
Allah Allah dreaming about the new life being beautiful Allah 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 you are that soul you shift in time backwards just a little bit before you chose the body for the incarnation that's a time of contemplation searching for yourself living a life of the soul without body in a beautiful spirit world being plugged into their tree of life being connected with the universe knowing everything being beyond the veil knowing knowing everything being in love with everything and only conceiving the idea of your future life only conceiving only trying to conceive the idea of the future life on the dreaming about the dream of the future life that's your essence that's you real you you are in love you are love you are the essence of love Om And now being that soul <laughs> listen to the music of that soul of your true nature discover the melody of your true nature see the color of your soul See yourself as a beautiful, shiny, glowing, glimmering ball of light. Om. Om. It didn't go anywhere. It is still you, it is still here now. Realize your now body and the body of your soul in the past is the same thing. You are a dream of this soul. You are a dream of your soul bring together your body now and your soul it is the same thing you are your soul you are your soul you are your soul you are being loved your soul is connected to the tree of life it has infinite energy you have infinite energy you are connected to the creator you are connected to the divine energy you are made of the creator you are a dream of your creator um <laughs> we are united we are fruits on the tree of life we are made of one source 
we are made of one energy we are made of love we are full of love we are in love um, uh, um, um. Om 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 We are in eternal we are eternal there is no death we are eternal Om 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 you have work to do in your dream you dream for a reason you have work to do and this work is a work of love heal yourself and heal the world through yourself love yourself and love the world through yourself heal yourself and heal the world through yourself love yourself and love the world through yourself the world needs healing the world needs healing and you are the healer you transform the world through yourself by being in love you transform the world and now the rotation is clockwise we turn around and connect everything together back together the time is an illusion the space time is an illusion it is a dream it is work it is work of creation we collect we connect we rebuild the creation it is our dream collective dream and we heal it by unwinding and winding again unwinding and winding again now we connect it together in a new beautiful crystal shiny beautiful crystal glimmering structure structure fluid flow of love it's all love it's all light a crystal of light a crystal of light connects you to your spirit in a very basic way being in your body living your life in your body connects you to your spirit in a very basic way by desiring to connect to the Creator go inside go in every cell of your body and realize there is an antenna in every cell of your body a phone line to God through every cell of your body you are connected to the Creator you are connected to the Divine Mother you are connected to the feminine 
side of the creation, through your body, through your cells, through your DNA. It is a very basic, very fundamental connection. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Stay in your heart, stay in your mind, stay in your third eye. Be multi focused, many foci, many focuses in your mind, in your heart, and many plays at once, shifting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This oscillation, this Shifting helps you to connect to the ever fluid nature of the spirit, to the ever fluid nature of love. You are a fractal. You are a fractal of love. You are a fractal of light. You are a fractal of time. Now assemble yourself together. You are the spirit, you are the body, it's all one. You are the world, the world is your dream. The world is our collective dream, we dream it together. Transform the world by healing yourself. Transform the world to be perfect. There is a beauty in the world. Make it reveal, help it reveal itself. Respect the beauty of the world. As you breathe, as you breathe out, breathe the idea of the beauty into the world. You take the air in yourself, and as you are love, as you are beauty, you clear the air and send it to the world and infect it with beauty. Infect it with beauty. Now a good idea would be to stay in this space of, of peace, stay in this space of love and not to come back fast. Give yourself time, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, 2 hours. You can go sleep for a night, it's up to you. Keep this vibration of peace, keep this connection. I will disconnect in a couple minutes. I bless you all. I thank you for reuniting. Stay united, stay connected. And as you step in the morning, as you step into the world, carry with you that connection. You are now reconnected with your soul in a very basic way. 
keep this connection and whenever you need to refresh this connection just say so I want to refresh this connection my soul is here my soul is I my soul and I my soul and I are one I am my soul I am my soul I am my soul Um... Mm -hmm.